DC has a, a very ambitious program, um, particularly given the landscape that it has. But there's whole countries that have made commitments to going 100% renewable with yeah. policy and fines in place. And, and it's actually, it's really cool. There's a lot of progress being made all over the world. There's, you know, even Montgomery I, County is, yeah. they're, they're not requiring 100%, but they're implementing a policy that requires all new builds, all new buildings, uh, residential and commercial, from my understanding, to have solar uh, incorporated into it, I believe starting next year, it's either next year or 2024. So it's like, it's right around the corner, um, which is really cool. That And DC hasn't done that or hasn't considered that. They have not done a mandate like that. No, but they've created a much more robust incentive policy, which will, you know, naturally provide, you know, more and more companies are getting into solar in DC because it's lucrative to do so. And, you know, they're using the capitalistic approach to doing it. And honestly, that might be what's needed for the rest of the country to try to follow suit uh, is, is an approach like that, as opposed to a, a top down mandate. I think there needs to be some combination of the two. If we're going to really transition as fast as we have to, given how entrenched we are in this fossil fuel economy, you know, it's not like we can just all choose to not use fossil fuels. That's just the reality of that is society would collapse. It would cause way more harm than good. Um, so we need to find a gradual path and plan that doesn't, you know, destroy industries and doesn't like have even more of a negative people consequence than, um, you know, then climate change will at some point, you know, it's not that easy. I, I wish it was like, the more I like learn about the problem and understand like how hard it is to transition on such a scale, um, especially because, you know, there are practical reasons why fossil fuels are really a fit. They're really good at what they were designed to do. You know, they're, you just burn more or less. You can control that really easily. That's really what the grid was designed for. So, you know, we're trying to transition to, a majority of intermittent energy sources where we don't control the cloud cover and we don't control when the wind blows. Um, so it's going to require sort of like an, and we're going to have to throw everything at it, try to find all of these different approaches at the same time, and then have, you know, an, an integration of sorts with batteries um, and with, you know, more pumped hydro storage um, and, and other, you know, yeah. technologies yeah. 